Well, hello, friends and followers. So I wasn't really up for this work today, but I did it anyway. I was tired <coughs> of using plug strips like that one there that were on the floor for years when plugging in computers and radios and whatever else. So I like the fact of putting things under this desk. I've been using this old work desk over here for years that is pretty hacked up. So, my wife was nice and she bought me a new desk. So, what did I do? I put it together and then I had to uh, hack it all up, right? So, yeah, I wanted to put these uh, outlets on here and when you use outlets with power strips like that one there, they're really close together and you're gonna put in wall warts and things, so my um, matter or rat's nest that is going to go into this desk is this rat's nest here that I cleaned up today and I guess I'll show you what the rat's nest looks like so so now I'm going to take this rat's nest which was on the floor and plug it into this here which hopefully will work out I did make one mistake though in that I bought plugs that are safety plugs. I didn't even realize I bought these, but these are these stupid kid proof plugs that, you know, kids are going to stick in knives and wires and stuff in here. These plugs are made to keep kids out and they don't hold the wiring as good as a plug, which is not kid proof. So, oh my God. So you're in a hurry at Home Depot and you start you know, buying things because you want to get out of there. Anyway, this took me a long time. I think I started all this around 1.30, went to Home Depot or something, and got back around 2.30, and then I've been wiring ever since. I have a lot I have a lot of respect now for electricians. This is very, very tedious, tedious work, and this is 14-2 wire. A 14-gauge wire is unwieldy to work with, so... I don't think I've wired this many outlets since 1990-something, so it was a real pain, but finally got it done. I, I've had the router on this little switch on that desk over there for a long time underneath it. So I moved that over to there. Anyway, so tomorrow I'll uh, flip the desk over and start wiring. Maybe I'll wire this up tomorrow and see if I can get it going. So that's that. I also put a little switch on this first plug here. So when you're sitting at your desk and you want to shut down for the night, you can flick this little switch and it only turns off this plug, which turns off the Cisco um, phone, VYP phone. It turns off two Alexa devices. So that's what I run in a plug or two Alexas and a uh, Cisco phone that doesn't need to be on all night. So you can turn that off and turn those off. The rest of these plugs will be dedicated to the computer and Raspberry Pis that run all night and other things. So we'll see how that goes. So how many plugs do I have here? I guess I have uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 16 plugs, which are on all the time, and 20 plugs including those. So I want to make life a little easier. Um, I, I would have been done with this sooner, but I couldn't find my own meter and I didn't own this thing out. I just plugged it into the wall socket the first time and the light immediately went out. Boom. So I had a short. Looks like I had the neutral wire uh, connected to the ground. And so I started pulling these apart and usually what happens is there's so many wires that are rat nested in here, you, you shove these boxes in to get the plugs to line up and, and wires cross. So I took that one off and that one off and that one off and that one off. Never took that one off. Of course, the very last one that I took apart had the short. So the short was in here between neutral and ground. And once that was straightened out, the box is powered up or the rack here is powered up and tested all the plugs they're all working 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 so that's about it this this project really uh 
really tired me out. Just been on the floor here all day working and it's all done. So I'm happy about that. I'm not gonna do anything more tonight. It's getting on late here, no energy, really tired. That's it for tonight. Anyway, that's my little project. This desk will get flipped over and it's gonna go next to that desk over there. I'm gonna put it right where all that junk is there. Clean that area out and put it there. That desk might be for ham radios there. This will be a fixing desk for ham radios, although I'm not sure I'm going to fix many more ham radios in the future here. I'm going to lay off that now, but I guess I got to fix that. Uh, that one over there, FT-102 needs fixed. And that's about it. I don't think anything else needs fixed, really. Oh, the uh, Drake needs fixed, so that Drake over there. That Drake has low output power, and I gotta fix that Drake TR7 there for the output power. And those, two of those work, the third one's junk. And that's about it. <coughs> oh, getting sick here. Okay, so thanks for watching, that's my update. Um, again, lots of respect for these uh, electricians. This, this is really tedious. I wanna say awful work, I mean, the hardest part of this wiring is 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 skinning this this 14.2 romex and i looked at, on youtube and they're using like sharp knives and all that to skin this stuff and i'm like that's dangerous i i, I think i skinned this stuff back in the 90s with a with a box cutter knife and i i used a small screwdriver this time and just did it that way i didn't want to really use sharp dangerous knives so well that's about it i don't even know this desk even uh works as far as the uh, motor inside haven't even tried it yet i've just had it on its back here working with these uh, plugs all right thanks for watching have a great day and a great night thanks for watching see you later